guys, how's it going? Justin here. If you watched my last video, you knew that I installed this Poig, 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 that's embarrassing, I can't pronounce it. Poig, Pig, Pig, windscreen. I have no clue how to pronounce it. Probably find a uh, thing somewhere around the screen of how to pronounce it, just for your reference. Uh, that's all windscreen and super easy to install. Pretty happy with the process and how easy it was. It wasn't super expensive, I don't, I don't think at least. Um, it was 170 on eBay, which was the going rate on Redzilla and all that stuff. And it's very high quality, parts are great, bolts are great and everything. Big, big downsize. downside, it's not super tall and it's not a full touring windscreen. That being said, the wind blows up and hits me in the helmet. So. 59 miles per hour is fine, 60, 61 and up, it gets bad. The wind is pushing my helmet and shaking the helmet. It's, it's bad. I was a little disappointed, a little mad when it started doing that. I'm like, I, <laughs> I installed this to make wind less of a problem, but here I am, my whole helmet's shaking. So I hopped on Amazon and I found a windscreen extension. It's supposed to be universal fit. So we're gonna, we're gonna give it a whirl. We're gonna try installing it. I've got it right over there. I'm gonna unbox it for you and then we're gonna pop it on here and see how it does. I'm gonna get a full blown review on this and then of course I'm gonna also review that at the same time just for a two for one, bada bing bada boom, get her done. So let's jump over here. Okay, so I'm guessing the brand is Yamo. Once again, names that I can't pronounce because I'm an American and I can't pronounce more, most, uh, most words. Well anyways, let's pop it open and let's see what we're doing with. Interesting packaging. Hopefully that's enough uh, bubble wrap to keep it from getting broken and shipping. I opted for the uh, smoked version to hopefully match the uh, existing windscreen. I think it will be pretty good. We'll see once we get it on there how it looks, but uh, what all do we got here? There's no instructions. What do you know? Something from Amazon with no instructions. That seems a uh, Pretty common. So a bunch of brackets with things that I have no clue what they are. I'm assuming these are bolts and these are Allen keys, it looks like. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So obviously it's gonna Kind of clip on like this, I'm assuming, and then adjustable. Pop open the bolts and see what we got in here. These are rubber and they appear to be inserts of some sort. Does that look right? Or does this look right? Ooh, I can't tell. I'm assuming this way. It felt better this way. Okay. So those appear to be, it's kind of pull it apart. I was going to say suction cups, but they don't quite feel that way. So it appears the uh, wedged side, whatever you want to call it, this side goes in like this. Oh, probably go the right way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so like that. Okay, I'm going to throw these into my handy dandy cup. Handy dandy cup, so I don't lose bolts. Allen keys of some sort. These are these are interesting. I don't know if you can see it. Perforated at the bottom. On the two big ones and then the small one is just a standard Allen key. These appear to slide in. They fit, line up. Like no, okay. Like that. And then the bolts line up with the holes on the inside. Then these go like that maybe like that okay well it appears to be what I need to do okay another thing so push this up to lock it pull it down to unlock it so that's that let's move over to the bike and we'll, we'll take a look
Supposed to be universal fit, right? Not. Okay, there's a bug in my ear. Get it. It's hard to maneuver, I have to say. It's, and it doesn't help the way my uh, windscreen is designed. Okay, I want you to see how flimsy this plastic is right here. It's gonna jiggle everywhere. The front locks, so that's good to have on there. You're able to angle these. They were just kind of locked into a place with the bolt. That's what one of those Allen keys are for. So you can actually bend these to meet the contours of your, uh, your uh, windscreen. That would have been nice to know a minute ago. Crap. Okay. 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 That is on. We're gonna check fitment, make sure it's even. Man, it's, it's looking even. Okay, now for the bolts. I'm gonna tighten down the bolts that allow it to rotate in hopes of it not shifting too much. It feels solid. I can't say it's as solid as the uh, this windscreen, but. Okay. <laughs> That's pretty nice. I think that'll do a whole lot better. It's, whoever designed this is pretty ingenious. The level of adjustability on it is incredible. Um, it's very cheaply made, so I'm assuming it was stolen. Oh man, those uh, plastic pieces feel pretty bad. But, lock them in place and it, it should do its, do its job. Okay, I'm pretty impressed. Look at, look at that. That took 10 minutes to install. He's got some blemishes. He's got some blemishes, but it's not bad. It decently matches. I don't think I'd want it to be exactly the same because obviously I'm gonna be looking where I sit. I might be looking through that. So I don't want it to be too, too smoked. I think it blends in well, it fits well. Cockpit view, this is where I'm gonna be looking. I may be thinking, angle it up a little bit. Perfect. That is perfect. I think that's right where I want it. So I'll lock it down and we'll call it a day. Okay guys, thanks for checking out the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're looking into this thing, as of now, I recommend it. It's okay quality. It seems like it's gonna stay on there. I'm not too worried about it coming off. And uh, I think it's gonna do what I want it to do. It's gonna blow the wind up over my visor instead of into my face and killing me. Well.
Appreciate your time. If you have not liked, like it, subscribe if you have not subscribed so you can join the party. Comment down below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.